Hey, a pleasant good evening, Royals fans. This is going to be on the Reading Royals, the Royal Take, after we win 3-2, to two, playing 55 minutes of A++++ hockey, and then the last five, <laughs> not as much, but Logan Flodell and the team hang on to win 3-2 to two in the end. A end score that would have been a lot higher, a lot higher, if it was not for Stefano's Lakers and a goalie matchup for the ages that is set to take place in this entire series. Lakers versus Flodell might end up being one of the better goaltending matchups, not just in this entire series, but in the entire 20 years of the Reading Royals. Uh, because, I mean, Flo's playing such so great as a youngster, and imagine the fact that if the Phantoms don't win out and make the playoffs, they have one of the best goalies of all time in the ECHL, and Pat Nagel coming back. Plus Logan Flodell. I mean, that's a great tandem. The Mariners have a great tandem with Jeremy Brodeur and Lakers. I would have to imagine after the great game for Stefanos Lakers, they are going to continue to ride his hot hand, uh, even though Brodeur has had a very good uh, statistics against the Reading Royals this year, including the game he subbed in for Stefanos Lakers after he got knocked out in the first period by the Royals after three quick goals. But, Great game for Lakers tonight, so I would assume he would stay in. Fantastic game and better game for Flodell, just like Braden Lowe said in the post-game press conference to me, uh, Matt and Mike, um, that he played the better game and he won. And Flo, the, the big thing with Flodell, I tweeted it at JJBoard26 if you want to follow me over there as well. And please subscribe and like the video here as well. We appreciate you guys' love and support this far. But um, Braden Lowe uh, really hit it on the head. Uh, where Logan Flodell did play the better game today, and he's significantly a guy that's just fun to watch because he's so calm. And I mean, some of those saves he makes with his glove, that he just calmly grasps it, those aren't easy saves. And Logan Flodell makes it look like it's a walk in the park. I mean, some of those saves he makes with his pad, just kicking it out, getting from side to side, he makes those look like a walk in the park. Hopefully, Logan Flodell gets to continue and become a star in this league with the Reading Royals for a while. But, I would say if he keeps playing this good, we already seen him get loans to Belleville. Um, I would not be surprised, especially with the injury issues that the one goaltender in Ursan's having, if next season, if Flodell, hopefully, because obviously I hope the Royals keep him, stays in the beginning of next season, does eventually get a shot with the Phantoms. Now, for the Reading Royals, and being a fan of them, I'm also a fan of the Phantoms, but being someone that uh, reports on the Royals full-heartedly and even fills in, and had the pleasure of doing so, and I really thank Eric and the Royals for allowing me to do that again as a color commentating tonight. Um, for someone that does that, I would like him to stay with the Royals as long as possible. But for Logan Flodell's best man of his career, I also would love to see him get promoted to the Phantoms at some point because I think he has a chance of being mightily successful at that level as well. When you're just that poised and that cool, calm, and collected in that, and you're that good, <laughs> along with that character trait, why the hell not would you not be able to be successful at the next level? Like, give me a reason why it does. Now, do I think they might want to see it more than just a rookie year? Yeah, and that's why I think it might take maybe till sometime next season. But if he's playing like a bat out of hell, and I don't see any reason why he won't be, because he seems like he's a top goaltender in this league, I wouldn't be surprised if the Phantoms eventually give him a shot. But at the same time, I also hope he's with the Royals as long as possible. Uh, Braden Lowe, fantastic game today. Two goals. Frank Detroit, a fantastic game. Excuse me, two assists. Peyton Pritchard also had an assist in his return. And Patrick Bykoff had a beautiful hesitation play because that's sometimes the issue with the Royals' power play when they struggle. On 5-on-5, five five, they tend to never shoot aimlessly shots that go at shin pads or with guys in front. On the power play, they tend to shoot it more too quickly at times. Uh, where Bykoff there didn't do that, he was patient with the puck, he waited, 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 and did exactly what you're taught to do. Shot it low. Kenny, the man on the mission... Hausinger and the man with the plan there, Hausinger to deflect it, was able to get it in. So this was just a great, I mean, overall, I give this game an A for sure, because if you play a bad final five minutes, that I was going to give it an A+, plus, um, with the way that the game was going as a whole. So that just drops it to an A, uh, because the, the one goal... 
Brandon Lowe openly admitted, excuse me, in the post game that that was on him, the second goal, when he wasn't able to really get a grasp with the puck at the blue line and be able to get it out, and then the shot was put on net, and they were able to score. That was a deflection by someone that actually went to my high school and won Flyers Cups with us, uh, with all of us, uh, Nick Master. Um, and and uh, the other goal was a shot that it looked like a skew might have deflected. He set a screen in front, though, and it got credited to Malatesta. Either way, neither of those are on Logan because he can't even see the puck in either of those situations, just as Kirk McDonald said in the postgame presser. So, great game by Logan Flodell. Also, great toss by Logan Flodell in the postgame with the stick, tossing a perfect throw to a fan in the crowd. I guess he's getting ready for baseball season. Uh, as the baseball season's kicked off, maybe you see him at some uh, Reading Phillies games. But then also Braden Lowe, a star of the game. Fantastic job by Braden Lowe. Um, excuse me. And then I would also say Kenny Hosinger and Pritchard being very active in his first game would also be rewarded. I know there's only supposed to be three stars, but Pritchard and McNally, I think, deserve to get rewarded as well because McNally just kept making play after play, being able to get the puck cleared out of the zone, so on and so forth. He was great tonight. So, overall, a game by the Royals. Great start to the series. Something that I think is a final closing point of the video. I would expect less after the whistle chippiness by the Royals and the, all three guys, Kenny Holzinger, um, uh, Braden Lowe, which Holzinger didn't make the YouTube video, but we had him in the post game presser. Braden Lowe and Kirk McDonald talked about kind of being more zoned into the Royals mindset of hockey and not doing all that after the whistle. Well, BS is literally what Kirk said. Um, and, uh, I agree with that. I mean, in the play, what I said on the broadcast, I meant more, I think the Royals game plan having more snarl within the play into this because they're such a good skilled puck possession team that has that in their back pocket. They just don't always need to use it. And that's exactly what they used here. So I think within the play, within the whistle, yeah, I'm fine with everything. Uh, after the whistle, I agree with Kirk McDonald. There's no point of playing tickle bunny with guys. Uh, you might as well <clears throat> fight them or not fight them. And Sonny's play was over the top. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does get suspended. You have to know how to control his up there. I love Brandon Sonny. He's one of my favorite players. one of my favorite players on the Phantoms when he was up there. Now he's definitely one of my favorite players with how much he's dominating and running. I love songs, but um, you got to know how to control yourself there. But it is what it is. It happens. You get over your heels sometimes in the playoffs, and that just seems to be what happened there with Brendan Saunier. But hopefully he'll be back uh, while we're back in Maine, and he's just dominating, kicking behind again. But have a great day. Plus, day, everybody. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take as our running Royals take game one, 3-2, to two, with the stars of the night being Logan Flodell, uh, well, Jacob Pritchard, also Braden Lowe, and also Frank Tachara, and even um, as well, like I threw him in there early because of his great stellar defense all night, you definitely got to put Patrick Mick Nally in there. And also Trevor Gooch was stirring the pot a lot tonight too, which is kind of cool to see. You don't always see that from Goocher. But everybody have a great day. Plenty of day. Please don't subscribe down below. Or bump these use widgets to keep the channel growing to 230 or more by the end of April. Stay safe out there, everybody, and go Royals. Peace out, everybody.